Jared Travis, how are we feeling today? Feeling great. I mean, yeah, the Red Sox lost last night. They yeah. got smoked, but we're still going to say it today. Okay. I don't know if we're going to say it right now. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, is this breaking news? I right don't now? know. I mean, it's June 28th. Yeah. And the whole concept was, and Yankee fans tried to hijack this day, and we're not going to let that happen, yeah. are we, Emerson? No, we're no. not going to let that happen. Absolutely not. They tried to make it about them. It's not about them. June 28th was never, oh, by June 28th, the Red Sox are going to catch the Yankees. No, that's not what this day is about. This day is about the Red Sox. At the time, they were like nine games under 500. All I said was by June 28th, this team is going to have a winning record. Do they have a winning record, Emerson? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They're 19 and 5 in the month of June here. They've won seven straight series, Mm -hmm. and they hold the top wild card spot in the AL. So. Like, when will we say it today? You know what? We're doing a stream tonight, and I feel like that's as good of an opportunity as ever to just say it. Like, I'll be there. Yeah. Jake will be there. I tried I to invite Jake. some special guests. Jake always uh, looks like he's sleeping next to you. Of course. Do you want to come by? <laughs> Actually, I would. I would love I'll, if you came by. I'll come by. I can bring you dinner, seriously. That would be great. Okay. What are you going to bring me? Uh, whatever snacks we have in the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> my book There's back. a lot of food here. There, there is a lot of food here. Yeah. Listen, you nailed it. They were nine games under 500 at one point. They were 11 and 20, but then they flipped the switch here and went like 31 and 12. This turnaround, who is the one guy? you are giving the most credit for. Most credit to for this turnaround. That would be Alex Cora. Yeah. So I think previous man, I mean, besides Terry Francona, obviously a great manager. But if you look at uh, the Bobby Valentine season, uh, we actually went back and looked at that kind of recently. People forget that year, the Red Sox lost 93 games, I want to mm-hmm. say. They were still had a, they still had a winning record in August. That thing fell apart quick. Yep. So when things start to look like they're going to fall apart, you look to the leader in the clubhouse, a guy like Xander Bogarts. But about that tone gets set with a guy like Alex Cora. And being around him, learning from him, talking to him on a daily basis, you kind of get that vibe from him. Where even right now, even even when they swept the Guardians the other day. Yeah. And they're like, hey, like we're cruising. We just won seven straight games. We just won seven straight series. We're uh, sole possession of the top wild card spot, sole possession of second place in the division. You look at him, is he excited? Is he happy? No, he, he had the same demeanor as when they were nine games under 500. He, he does not get too high on, on uh, highs and not too low on low. It's a very Bill Belichickian approach yep. to it. And I would say Bill Belichick, a lot of success uh, doing what he does. All right, so how does he get his guys, though? The season's been turned around. Like, but how does he get his guys to actually turn things around in the division? Because that's the only place for now where they're really struggling, like 7 and 15 versus the AL East. Like, yeah. Those are important games. 100%. And I think it, it, it doesn't look good that, you know, you have this big turnaround yeah. and then the first game that you play against an AL East opponent, you get smoked. Uh, but it's just one game. It's just one game. And, and you would argue that pretty much all of the AL East games that they've played were in April, and that's – it's not the same team. They have a different team right now. Uh, we'll see how the rest of the series goes against Toronto. They still have Alec Manoa in the last game, which don't love that matchup. But nope. you have Nick Pavetta going in that game. So it's like you've got one of your best against one of their best. We'll see what happens. It's, it's, uh, I don't want to take too much out of this one series against the Jays, especially when uh, we haven't had that one-run situation. But because of the uh, COVID yep. restrictions in Canada, you don't have your closer. You don't have your leadoff hitter. And because of injuries, you don't have your starting center fielder. So yep. it's, it's uh, I, I'm not going to take too much out of this, but this is when they need to prove it between now and the All-Star break. Yeah.